Hey buddies, welcome to the feedback part of this video. Now, this is basically going to be covering like the, the development team, the development of the game, what to expect, and etc. And my final thoughts on the game. Anyway, so let's get into, let's get in, let's get the show on the road. So, Corrupt Book 3 is one of the many Fun of His fan games that have taken the similar approach as Anime's Hell did. I've made a review on the game as shown on the screen, as you could see. If you have played Anime's Hell or you have seen gameplay of it, you will have a good idea of how Corrupted Book 3 is and what lies for you as the player when it comes to Corrupted Book 3. The game is still in early stages and won't see the light of day before the end of this year or somewhat to the end of this year. The game has become a huge project for many of the dev developers working on this game, myself included. The original dev team consisted around about 5 to 10 people that was a UCN mod, but now the 2022 remastered, I'm gonna call it as that, and a standalone game, instead of just being a goofy mod for UCN, has over 25 devs and is growing still to the day. Fun fact, the foundation of the game will be easy to learn but hard to master same as anime as hell easy to get into easy to read easy to come back but again hard to master when all the characters are on there will be no such rng element to this game because that will corrode the skill base there will not be any rng element to this game because that will corrode the skill base factor and yes there will be rich in story law as have through to five people on the story concepts myself included there will be many games like the ones that ah plant out but yet they will they were cancelled due to the dev team issues but that's for a topic for another day this game will have a neon theme as you could see by a few of the teasers that we've been working on um the game logo if you want to it there you are i'm pretty sure i've seen it because that's part of the teasers so, but the point of the neon themes type of style we wanted that to catch the eye of the players and the viewers to get this game you know interested to get the attention of what it deserves that's almost also making this video and all the other corrupted bird movies as well the team has been hard at work what they want to achieve they only expect this game to be the best as it possibly can the development team consists of the following. Some members of the dev team have done more than needed to do, but some members have done insufficient amount of work for this game. When it comes to the good side of things, there will always be a good, bad side to everything in life. One thing that is permissious to this game and to the game will be the communication of the dev team. Same as a dev member, the communication there is nothing there. The communication suffers and is plagued by the dev team, yet the team has made strides to correct that wrong. On the good side of things, we have a few anime style developers on the Uncorrupted Burglary's dev dev team they have offered advice on how either the animations should be how the map should be how the characters should be arranged their difficulty and etc long story short this dev team has its flaws but has a lot of potential to be a great dev team but time shall tell as I said, the game is still in its early phases. It will be in its beta phase, alpha phase, testing phase in a few months, roundabout. The team has remade the remake models of the characters as you have seen in this video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, you are. The map has gone through multiple changes. <laughs> if I can show that, well, bugger, I'm gonna show it. We have the final and main floor map, the main floor map, if you want to, for the game. But won't, you won't see that here or now. The basement will be in the work soon, if you want to. The office is done and we we have made the final agreement on the offers as, the, as you can see by the teaser. Yeah, by the way, the sort of teaser, fun fact, or somewhat. There will be light changes, props added later, you know, for the final product, but that's just for demo one. Don't worry about it. We're going to continue with that. Mechanics are around about 80 to 85% done. Don't quote me on that, but the mechanics are nearly done. We need to figure out one, two, or three more characters, but that's it. And they will be fair to the player and not relied on any RNG bullshit, as I like to say. You can expect a lot more characters, which will be challenges to the player, but and also hopefully not bush overs, like for example how Ender was in AH Demo 1. This will also offer a challenge mode, so old characters from the sandbox will be there, and to spice up the game mode or the gameplay, there will be a few new faces to meet the player. A mini game selection is still in works in progress, and some out of the box thinking secrets will also be there right in your face. A mini game selection still a work in progress, and some out of the box thinking secrets that will be right in front of everyone's 
faces and this will offer some outside resources will be required we're not going for the casual brighten up the image and get oh annoying code or an amazing code of virgin destroyer that leads to another message in the same image no no we're not doing anything like that we are going out of the box type of thing for example what if what if that there was a message inside the inside the png um the text file of the png or if there was maybe there was a message in the in the image but not you brighten the image up maybe that you have to look at the contrast maybe you have to um maybe the the text is in the channels or the channels of the image if you know what i mean i'm not then you'll see later on to me and to me as a director of the teasers this is considered a very boring ass thing just to brighten the image it's so overused it's so bullshit like there is no really reward for just this text or you might get another image but to me and to the dev team it's just boring as hell there is still a shit and more yet to come and that i haven't even covered in this video to this day but see this video as a tease of what is to come see this as a guide see this as not the final product what i'm talking about all the images i've shown you all the teasers i've shown you all the bloody um characters that's still been worked on there are a few that were missing true because i'm recording this video on the third month of the sixth day so you can kind of expect that if you are wondering, and a lot of you are, might be wanting me in this, are we still going to have an interview with Dalen TV Gaming? The answer, yes, we're still planning to have an interview with Dalen TV laid down the line, soon to happen at some point. If you have any questions about the game or what I've seen here today, leave a comment or, uh, or leave a comment on the game job page. Uh, link there on screen and also link down below. Or I will cover that in an, in a comment form coming back to you or I might do a video on that just to answer a few questions there and there. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye and thanks for watching.